Sometimes it is really hard to hide and show a div using HTML select tag. Let's see how you can do this. As you can see, I have already written a select tag with some options inside it. I have also written a label tag and the text inside the label tag is select to show or hide. Go to the browser and see it is there. Okay. Then a select tag with three options. One is select one, another one is hide and another one is show. Yes, all are there. And finally a deep tag with some text inside it. And also I have styled it. Okay. Uh, as you can see, I have written some styling there, some height, width, background color, and made the display flex for to keep all the content in the center. Okay, and a script tag to link our script.js file with the index file. Okay, let's go to a script file. First, I'm writing a variable to select our select tag. The name of ID is the select as you can see I have called uh, the select tag by its ID name. Then I have to call the div. The name of div's ID is the div. I have also called by its ID name. Now I am adding an event listener on the select tag. Okay, then um, I want to do something whenever some changes happen to the select tag. This is why the event name is change. As you can see I have written change here. Now I'm adding an anonymous function because I want to do something whenever some changes happen to the select tag. The parameter of this function is event. Okay, let's write a if statement. And as you can see, I'm calling it by its event name and the property of the event is target. So why I'm using target instead of current target if you write current target property here current target will call every item inside your select tag i mean every option it will select every option this is why i am using only target because target selects whatever item you are selecting if you select hide the value of this will be hide if you select show the value of this will be show do you understand this is why i am writing target not current target i hope you understand when I select hide, I want div to be hidden. Well, let's write this code. One mistake here. The name of this variable would be div, not dev. Okay, I'm correcting it. Okay, let's write now. So let's add some styling to the div. And the property of the style is display. And the value would be none. Because I want the div to be hidden whenever I select the option hide. Okay, let's go to browser and check yes it's working else if I select show I want to show the div okay I'm selecting div here and the style the property is display and now I want to block it because it will show the div okay now go back to browser and let's see if it works okay hide show hide show it is working yes it is working you can see there is an issue here even whenever you select the first option it makes the div visible which i don't want so now i have to be very specific i'm writing else if and um, i'm have to target the value again however the option is only sh show uh, then the div will be visible only okay let's see it works or not um, yes now it works properly still there is issue um, you can see the content of the div is not center anymore I want it to be centered always so for this I'm changing the property of style to visibility and I'll write there visible the value and the first one also will be visibility and the value will be hidden okay now i think it will work the styling will not be changed anymore let's see yes now it is working and the content of the div is still in the center 
I think you understand how you can show a div or height using HTML selected. Thank you.